You post that motherfucking Meek Mill album, 12 a.m. is going down. Wale, new single featuring J. Cole. Shit is legendary. You already know what it is, man. I'm hearing big things. The promised land closures. We got closures for these hoes. You feel me? And so back to what I was saying, ladies, you go get your closure done. You get your face beat for four hours. You post that picture, you be expecting all them likes, all them views. You finna be litty. You gonna, you gonna make your ex wanna send you a text and all that type of shit. I know that's what you wanna do. You wanna inspire your ex. That's what y'all wanna do, Ashley. Mm -hmm. You wanna inspire your ex, don't you? You gotta make them jealous, right? Make them hit you up, make them call you. You gotta make them call you. That's what your goal is. When you get that lace front and that frontal, nigga, they want you to call them. So when you see her go get her face beat and she go get that closure, go out your way, nigga, and don't call, don't call her. Go out your way. Do it like a boss. Go out your way, nigga. Say I'm unimpressed by that frontal. I'm unimpressed by that closure. I'm unimpressed by that side bun. That shit that be on the side just hanging right there. So I don't want that shit. I ain't calling you. One time for all the Jamaicans, one time for the Big Belly Rude Boy, two ting this Z and No, no, I'm not eating bully beef this morning. I'm not eating Saki and Southfish this morning. Celebrity Chef Ashley, what we having this morning? What we having? And don't get this wrong, this the B brunch. This the B brunch. B, this the B brunch. What? What what are the uh, rose petals having? We see yeah. Bamboo, we see Vion, we see McQueen, we see official Bel Air. Mm -hmm. I yeah. see your your simply orange juice. The, the sugar grits, of course. We got the turkey drizzle, turkey bacon. Turkey drizzle. <laughs> turkey sausage. Um, we got the roasted potatoes. Roasted potatoes. Um, we have a fruit platter. Fruit platter. We gotta keep it healthy. We have some chocolate muffins. We have chocolate muffins. Some avocado toast. We have avocado toast. Whoever yeah, reached that, egg. that's somebody with white DNA who wanted mm -hmm. avocado toast. Mm -hmm. I know Special who you request. is. Special request. Mm -hmm. I know who you is. Ain't nothing wrong. Let that whiteness glow in you, baby. But I know who you is. And then we have waffles. We have eggs. waffles. <clears throat> we got eggs. Mm -hmm. I could really teach you how to whip eggs. Are you I could teach you how to whip eggs. I'm going to tell y'all something y'all don't know. Me, being the hustler I am, I know how to crack three eggs, drop three yolks, but the way I whip it, it's going to come back eight eggs. Whip game. Whip game. They said they want to see that. That's too easy. I ain't going to show it to them yet. I'm going to show it to him once we put it on our platform, our podcast. Yeah, so like I was saying, what kind of uh, toast that is? Avocado toast. Avocado, Avocado toast. A balsamic glaze drizzle. A balsamic glaze drizzle. Mm -hmm. Avocado, you know that's for white people. Yep. Okay, as long as you know. Yep. All right, ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with that. You know, we got white people on so our team. And then there's some people that's black with white DNA. Yeah, I know who you is. It's in the morning, man. We ain't gonna have the thighs yet. One time for hippie, <laughs> hippie game. I see you, baby. There you go. Talking about avocado toast. Look at these people. Avocado toast with the heart next to them. It's all white people. <laughs> it's all white people. You heard me? They love it. They love it. That's breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So that's so that's popular. You cook that for blacks all the time? Nah. Okay, nah, nah. The chef being honest. The chef being honest. They Distress want life, what it do? They want chicken and waffles. You black too? Okay, baby. It's a black girl said they like avocado toast. We got some niggas chucking in. Whip game proper. Whip game proper. You gotta know how to drop three eggs and bring back eight. <clears throat> do you know how to do that? Whip game proper. You feel me? Drop three egg yolks and bring back eight. You heard me? That's where that come from. A lot of y'all ain't know where that came from. You feel me?
One time for the rose petals, we going on the road. This is a question I'm gonna ask y'all. I got an incredible team of dancers, right? We finna go have fun on this tour. But look, they call them rose petals, right? When they come out there, should they have the bucket of roses and come and drop them out? And I come walking, you know what I'm talking about? Like coming to, you get it, coming to America? Some black roses. The, the black roses? Nice. Ashley said black roses. What the day is Thursday, right? Mm -hmm. It's Thursday. Let's finish our week strong. It's Thursday. Let's enjoy the day like it's Friday. Let's post your books. One time for my white homeboy, Neil. Neil Belkin. I call him Big Toe. I never met a white man with such big toes on his feet. Not big feet. It's the difference. Big feet. But his big toe. His big toe. Long big toe. He had his shoes off in my studio session one night. I cut the music off. I said, damn. You just traumatized Rose. I ain't never seen a toe like that. Not that I look at men toes, but damn. He was working on the book, writing down some shit, but he had his feet on. He had his socks off. I guess he was comfortable. And he traumatized Rose. So if y'all know anybody that'll help me forget that big toe game. Oh, Neil Belkin, he in here. I just seen him, Neil Belkin, please. Y'all follow Neil Belkin. That's my dog, but he traumatized me. I need help. I was in there writing in a deep thought and I spent around, you know, the chairs that spin around like this. And I know he was in there actually and he was, you know, working on the book and I turned around and he had his legs crossed. You know how you have one of your legs crossed, you know? You know how the white people do that? You know how they do that? Yeah, 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 like that, you know? Rose can't do that, I'm not need. But um, he was like that in his big toe. That motherfucker was, I said, damn! And I cut the music off, and he didn't know why I really did it, but I'm letting you know now. I'm confessing on my live. Had to take a moment for that toe. Yeah, Big Toe Productions. Papa Keith, what it do, baby? You know what I'm saying? Papa Keith, what it do? Yeah, traumatized Rose. Traumatized. Y'all let, uh, I be seeing, uh, what's his name always talking about trauma? Uh, Charlemagne the God. Y'all, somebody tag Charlemagne. Tell him, uh, Neil, the co author of my book, he traumatized me by letting me see that big toe in the middle of the night. Dang. I see somebody laughing at Rose being knock kneed. One time for Big Mo's Kitchen. Big Mo's Kitchen. Everybody that's in Detroit, anybody that you know in Detroit, you tell them Rose said go by Big Mo's Kitchen. They're my family. I may get me a Big Mo's Kitchen. Hey, Big Mo, I may buy me a Big Mo's Kitchen. Big Toe Entertainment. Hippie Town USA. Smoke one with me. I don't see nobody that tags Charlemagne and tell him Rose need a, a good referral. Big Mo's Kitchen. Everybody that's in the D. I'm trying to tell you. If you in Detroit, if you got a cousin, a homeboy that's in Detroit, you let them know. Rose said, you heard Rose said, go buy motherfucking Big Mo's. They're going to time this gear. That's my family, Big Mo. They're going to check you out. And when they get a word, it's 1,000. Yeah, let Charlemagne know. And tag the dude that traumatized me. Say, damn, homie, you got to keep socks on. Put a pair of them soft shoe Yeezys on when you're in the studio, especially around people that's never been around people with such big toes. You know, where I'm from, niggas always had big feet. But you know, come on, Neil. You, you like one of my only close white friends, like... You close, you my nigga, nigga. You know when you a white nigga, but you my nigga, nigga. Like, you traumatized me with the toe, dog. I ain't even know the shit was. And then I start thinking to myself, do my dog have a problem that I don't know about? How can a nigga be totally healthy when one toe way bigger than the whole, damn near half the size of the foot? You feel me? So I said a little prayer. I pray for you sometimes. I pray for you niggas. And everybody that's on my uh on my live, I'm praying for you. And if you can, say a prayer for Rose. 
Say, Lord, keep my dog blessed. May his cup continue to overrun it. Keep him protected. And everybody that I love, I'm praying for. And all y'all on my line. I love y'all niggas too. There goes Skinny Man just, just checked in. Okay, somebody said a prayer. Timeless Gear said a prayer. That's my family. You already know what it is. You feel me? Rap Plug Live, what it do? Darren Brown. Darren Brown. I see you. Hey, Darren, you know what? I told you to apply that pressure on me and keep going. I ain't seen you for a few weeks. That's how the game go, Darren. Don't know. You might still be in the middle of that test. You can't go hard for a week and then get discouraged, Darren. And I ain't saying you discouraged, but you ain't keep going. You got to keep going. You got to keep going. Let's keep going. You already know, Big Mo. You already know. I'm going to see you soon, Big Mo. Inshallah, baby. You know what it is. Yeah, baby, I'm praying for you and your 12 kids, baby. Shit, I pray you have another four. That's for everybody. You already know what it is. All my family in here, all my homies from that, uh, that Boss Up conference, y'all see what it is. It's what go on behind the scenes. It's what go on behind the scenes. It's called networking, man. It's called networking. You already know what it is. Morning Glory. 12 a.m. What's going down tonight? Meek Mill album. 12 a.m. Wale new single. Double MG. You better believe it. God heavy every season. Not just this season, but every season. Any new flavors for the yeah. Guess what? You ready for the new flavor? You ready for the countdown? It's called Thigh. Actually, if I want to come up with a new flavor for Wingstop, you're going to have to help me do it. You heard me? Yeah, we're going to test it. I don't have a lot of experience as far as I got whip game experience. I don't have the season. The season experience. Yeah, the season. Come out with a new chicken. You feel me? A new chicken. You feel me? One time for South Africa. One time for Ghana. That's, yeah. Yeah. Niggas say, nigga, we need Wingstop in upstate New York. Get your money together and come see me, nigga. You bring one. Get 1.5 year out there, motherfucker. Big Mo say they got a new sauce. Come on, Big Mo, don't lie to me now. I'm going to send them prayers. Yeah, that whip game experience, epic. Drop three eggs, bring back eight. You want to talk about the book? Let's talk about the book. Everybody that's on the line, make sure y'all post the book as well. Let's talk about the book. I'm with it. What y'all want to talk about? One time for Paris, France. You know what I'm talking about? Them DC niggas know they love that mumbo shit. That mumbo wings. And... Oh, I'm coming. Big Mo, I'm coming. You say the mumbo sauce too? Oh, it's good. You from DC too, huh? I'm not you is from DC. Mm -hmm. You is a DC nigga. <laughs> Y'all love mumbo. What the hell? Okay, what is mumbo? If you mumbo sauce, if you had to describe mumbo like sauce for somebody who never had it, never had Rose it. never had mumbo sauce, and so for me to the color and the direction, you ain't gotta tell me exactly what it is, but just give me the idea. It's like a thick. Sour type, not sugary, but sweet type of sauce, and it has like I can't describe it. But it's almost like a sweet and sour type taste, more so sweet though. But it goes with like anything. You throw your fried chicken, you go to the carry out, and it's bomb. It's good. It's good. Like it's uh, good. All right. It's good. 
All right, so DC, y'all got a DC nigga in the building repping for the Mambo Sauce. DMV niggas, she did. She said sweet is thick, you know. <clears throat> Sticky, sweet. Shit like that. She say sticky. Woo! She turned up this morning. <laughs> Y'all trying to teach a nigga about the sauce. Twelve AM, it's going down. Twelve AM, Meek Mill new album. Twelve AM, Wale new single. It's going down. Oh, somebody just hated on the DMV. Nigga from Chicago said the Chicago sauce better than the DMV sauce. Woo! Them niggas just hate it. What is Vintage frames in this motherfucker. What's happening? They somebody just said, Rose, you should do a uh 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 They say Rose right there with that. Water, orange juice, juice here. What a liquor at. You gave me the cold. I'm finna drink that shit. Mm -hmm. Who all in this motherfucker? That mild sauce. Wale, tag Wale. Wale, new single tonight. J. Cole, listen, next level. Tag Wale, tag J. Cole. Hell yeah. I meant that these niggas can't hold me back. The, you know, I just was thinking that. For whoever just said that, like when I did that record, it was just these niggas can't hold me back. I was just in the studio and it, I thought about these niggas want to hold a nigga back, and I just said it, and we dropped that bitch. London UK in this motherfucker, Jason White in this motherfucker. Last name, first name. You got to do it like him now. He ain't gonna say his name without saying last name, first name. You feel me? Yeah, that's right. Let's tag Wale. Let's tag J. Cole. Let's tag Meek Mill. Because it's going down. It's going down. So let's, let's, we, we hustling. We grinding. And that's what hustling is. That's what grinding is. That shit come together slowly. You feel me? You may have your one big business, you know, and uh, you may plant a seed and do some more shit. And when they come back around, Couple years later, bam, that shit just flourishing at one time, and it, it feels like and seems like you planned it all like that, but not really. That's just how the blessings come. You feel me? So you gotta plant your seeds if you wanna be in the shade later on, nigga, because it's gonna be hot. The streets get hot. Real nigga wanna get under that shade. It ain't easy though, you hear me? That's my dog. It ain't easy though. You hear me? Boss talk. Y'all ain't tell me about uh what about the dancers? The roses. B What's good? They got that white food being made for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They got that goddamn avocado toast and Perrier water for you, huh? You already know that's that Beyond Talk. My little homie. <clears throat> when y'all see that page, I-S-M-I-I-I-I, make sure y'all follow that. That's a real one. The Baffle Chronicles, I ain't been doing it because it, it's been cold in the morning. And when that grass had that wet on it, you step out in that motherfucker and that cold. Roseanne good with that. That's right, let's keep tagging. J. Cole, let's tag Wale, let's tag Meek Mill. Meek Mill, new album, Expensive Pain, 12 a.m. One time for the Netherlands. Miss April Mason. That's right, Miss. That's right. That's right. 
April Mason in this motherfucker. The red rose petals. You better believe it. One time for all my Jamaicans in here. Understand? And for the Jamaicans that don't know, I'm the big belly root boy. True thing. This Zian. You understand? We know about bomba clot, bully beef them. Bomba clot, you understand? Ginger root. Bomba clot, know nothing about that, dear. Huh? The rose petal cones coming soon. That's right, hippie town, let's go. You know, that shit got me high. I hit that shit, that shit hit rose in the chest. Huh? The dizzle. Who all in this motherfucker? One time for CMB Exotics. One time for all my homies, man. I'm going to shout out a few people, man. Some of my homies. That boss up conference. You understand? I want to shout out these all bosses. These names mean something, so record them. Audio, you heard me? One time for Damian Watts. My little homie, Jeffrey C Crawford. You better believe it. Raymond Sloan, Luca Days, David Shans. I'm giving y'all personal names. Then I'm going to give y'all business shit later on. You heard me? David Hodges. First name, last name, Jason White. One time for my homie, the Wall Street Trapper. Recession Proof. Marcus Barney, him 500. Maurice Dukes, what it do? Yoto Kaimete. That's my homie. April Mason, the one and only. Tyrone Griffin. Richard Rhymes. That cool rich get homie. I got that. I'm gonna bust that down. My eye, the one and only. Film Magic. One time for high tolerance. Them the homies, they smoking good too. April Watson, what's good? Mike Melton. Mike Melton, that's the homie with that CMB exotics. I was smoking that all yesterday on some cool shit. Most definitely one time for Hippie Town. The whole team. Senequa Falon, what it do? One time for Big Mo's Kitchen, Detroit. Hey, Mo, I'm going to pull up on you, boy. I'm going to have them big Maybacks sitting outside. I'm going to triple park the motherfuckers, you heard me? One time for the Yelvertons, Big Things Cracking, Antoine and Vicky. One time for Fritz, that's Schultz, K-9, you heard me? You know what it is. Brittany Renee, what's going on? Styles, what's happening? Carlton, Harricks. And what I'm doing is just, this is my family, these are my homies. We're going to be doing big things together. We already have done big things, but we still going. You hear me? And so I keep these in front of me so when I'm making business calls with others and we talking about different things, I may be able to refer them to some of them or vice versa. That's why I tell y'all to follow them, because there's big things going on. You heard me? One time for the book, Wall Street Journal bestseller, multiple weeks in a row. New York Times bestseller, multiple weeks in a row. You know, just as an author, those are like Grammys for authors. You know what I'm saying? And we finna keep doing it, and I love it, because it's speaking to the culture, it's speaking to the youngsters. You know what I mean? You feel me? You got to stay working on something. You feel me? We all need that. We all need that. We all need that in a major way. I'm going to show y'all some more footage of this. You heard me? All the brand ambassadors, what's happening? The brand ambassadors, rep the team. All my brand ambassadors from all around the globe, make sure all the team members that came to the Boss Up Conference, y'all support them as well. You follow them, you post them, and wherever you at, it don't matter. Major way. Y'all see them waffles? These the chocolate chip joints right here? Mm -hmm. All right, all right, all right. Let me show y'all this though. One time for the bumble. Y'all know it wouldn't be rose if it wasn't rose. The Vion Cognac. McQueen in the Violet Fog. That's the number one G. That's the one Wiz Khalifa rock with Wiz Khalifa love. You know that rose. You know that blue. 
So the rose petals, this, you know, that, that big brunch before we kicking off that tour.